Hello, people of the AHK world, and hopefully Tab Nation. Subscribe if you're not. Two to three videos on automation every week. It's your boy Tom, and today we are going to be doing a intro of hopefully many other videos to come, having to do with arrays. Can't believe I've actually never thought to do a video on arrays. Uh, so yeah, hopefully a few more coming out. Uh, this is going to be a very basic intro into that. So I had done a video before where I did something kind of using a bunch of variables. Uh, so this is kind of like a very sample-y script, I guess is a word. Probably not. Uh, but my hotkey here is F1. I'm not going to show this uh, really working. Um, but I did it with a random number generator with how many uh, options I had. So let's say I'm going to make a script that's going to pick what I'm going to eat for my meal today. So I have the option of pizza, sub, hot dog, or starve. And uh, yeah, it just picks a number one through four every time I push F1. If random number equals one or two, three, four, then give me a message box saying, you know, eat a sub. This is one way to do it, but with arrays, it's going to be a lot cleaner, a lot less lines. So doing it this way, I've done some videos doing something like this, but every single time I need to add, maybe I want to add a new option, uh, like right here. I have to change this to number five. I have to copy and paste this, change that to number five, and then change whatever here to, you know, whatever the other food is that I'm going to eat, maybe pasta or something. That's a lot of work. So arrays are going to make it a little bit simpler. So as you see right here, we got line one through 19. So this right here is 19 lines of code. Well, let's look how we would do it with an array. Well, with an array, we're only doing, well, we got the one up here for F2. Uh, these are all, you know, commented out, so we're not counting those. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six lines of code. It's going to do the exact same thing as the code up here is doing, but instead of 19 lines, we're only looking at six lines of code. And we don't have to do a bunch here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we'll get back to the comment section here. We push F2 or whatever hotkey you want, and we're just going to call it our variable uh, word list or array. Um, you know, put that in there. And in these brackets is where we're going to put our options. And we're just going to put them in quotations, separate it by a comma. So as you see, I had the same stuff here. Pizza, sub, hot dog, and starve. Let's say I want to add another one. All I got to do right here at the end, put a comma and quotations, add pasta. And you're done. No need to create another if, change the randomizer, whatever. All you got to do is add your option. Beautiful, super easy, you're done. Save your script, reload it. And so we're going to use that same thing here, that random generator number. Uh, it's going to save the whatever number it picks at random as random. And we're just doing the one. We're starting at one. Uh, and what it's going to do here, it's basically uh, doing a variable count kind of thing here with the array. So word list calling up here. And we're doing the quotations with count in front of it. And that's going to see that, oh, there's one, two, three, there's four. So this is going to be the number four. Kind of like up here where we start with one and four, but we're using a variable right here instead. So it's going to auto count for us. We don't have to worry about changing that number, which is beautiful. And then uh, we're going to get a message box here. Uh, so I said six lines, that actually is five lines. You actually don't need this uh, here unless you want a message box. Uh, or if you want to send, you know, have it, type it into um, like a text file or, you know, whatever. It's going to say send, and it's going to call that variable from the word list and whatever number it picks. So if it's two, it's going to pick the second one in the array, which is going to be sub. So uh, you probably don't want to use both of these, so you can comment one out. You can delete the send if you don't want to use it that way. You can delete the message box line if you don't want to do it that way. So just get rid of one of those. I'm just showing you both options. So it's actually going to be five lines of code technically versus 19 so even better now the comments up here is that i have commented out maybe you don't want to have to edit your script every single time that you want to add a new item to your food list here you could do this right here instead delete this word list uh variable array thing here and instead what we're going to do is we're going to create that and we're going to loop and read a text file so the text file is called mywordlist.txt. Um, this is just going to pull from wherever your script is. If your script is on your desktop, but 
your my word list your you know food list is in your documents you're going to need to uh map out the path here of where you know c drive user that kind of stuff um but if you, you just have it in the same place you can just put the name of the file it'll find it and it's going to do basically kind of the same thing here uh it's creating the array and it's creating word list a index which means you know one two three every time it loops and what it's doing is it's reading each line so in your text file you're going to want to have something that looks like this so what did we have so we got pizza press the enter key sub hot dog and starve so just line and so when this reads this it's going to read line one it's going to save it as word list one it's going to read line two and save it as word list two so it's kind of like creating a bunch of variables but way simpler it's an array they're all stored together you know um you know if you're doing something like this so there's two options there of how you're going to get your information you can hard code it in or put it in a text file but we're just going to keep it in our script for now because that's how i already have it set up so let's go ahead and see this in action real quick if i can find it up oh, there it is all right we got our code running i'll go ahead and push f1 why not i said i wasn't going to show you that but let's do that i'm gonna push f1 hot dog next meal i'm having a sub next meal pizza next meal a sub again so as you see there it works the same but the code is so much cleaner so little lines need it and less editing when you add or change something now let's do f2 four and i just realized i am in my text editor uh, so that's saying you know random number it's going to be choosing four and then it's going to send starve right there so i get to starve this meal so let's delete that i should have probably had it down here f1 sub f2 it picked number one this time which is going to be pizza and there it is pizza so that is a very basic intro to arrays why they're good and just look way cleaner and whatnot different ways to use them uh like i said i plan to do more videos coming up on arrays get a little bit more complicated as we go let me know in the comments below what kind of stuff you want to see me do with arrays uh you know, I got a few ideas, but I want to see what you guys have. Maybe there's something I'm not thinking about, or you have a use case that I've never had. And uh, yeah, I'll spit some more of those videos out coming to you guys soon. And I hope you guys hit that bell notification, like button. It definitely helps me out and keeps me motivated to keep going. So love you guys, and I'll see you all on the next one.